So the truth is, most of us won't get the coronavirus. Most of the people that do get it will not be very sick. And even the ones that are very sick, most of them won't die. But some people do get the virus. Some people do get very sick and some die. By this time, probably all of us either know someone or know of someone who died of COVID or someone who had a very compromised health situation and COVID made it worse and they died. And in the midst of all this, we Christians are trying to say, look to Jesus, turn to Jesus. And one of the strong things we do in this is proclaim our lack of fear about death. Christians are not afraid to die. And so for our long spiritual history, Christians have rushed in to dangerous places to tend for the sick, to care for each other, making their churches into hospitals, going where other people are afraid to go, disposing of dead bodies. We don't do that because we think God's going to spare us somehow for doing good. We do it because we believe that death has no mastery over us. Death is not to be feared. We do believe, as we talked about in the last video, that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And if we believe that, we will never die. And so we talked about how we face our own death, and we've got to be out in this world living our belief that Jesus does conquer death, so we are not afraid. But I want to say a word about those of us that lose loved ones. Now, in this life, death is a reality. People get old, people die. I'm much closer to my death now than I used to be. And that doesn't count the sudden things that happen, car wrecks or pandemics, cancer that springs up, a heart attack, an accident, on and on it goes, natural disaster, so I want to be real clear here. I'm not telling you that Christians don't grieve and don't think about death. It's just that our faith overcomes our fear. Let me read this great passage from 1 Thessalonians 4. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. I want to tell you, we Christians are hope grievers. Yes, we miss the people that die that we love. We, we miss it even when our aged parents die. We, there's a certain amount of grief there. When your mate dies, even if it's expected, but certainly when it's unexpected and seems premature, loss of a child is a horrific thing to face. Friends that die. We do grieve, but here's the important thing. We Christians do not grieve as those who have no hope. Because we do believe the Lord is coming back and we will be raised from the dead and we will live with the Lord forever. So I want to tell my Christian friends, you grieve, but you be a hope griever for those who die in the Lord, for they really never truly die. And so encourage each other with these words. And if you're not a believer and you love to have that kind of encouragement in your life, Please contact me, Steve Rigel Ministry at gmail.com. Comment on this video. I'll visit with you, put somebody in touch with you. We want you to know the hope that we have, even in the face of death. And that's why we are courageous 
to take risk for the gospel because we believe this life just leads to a better life. In the end, it goes forever.